Well, yeah. Well, let's let's touch for a second on your stand-up career. Uh, this one I want to. I, I was just curious about this one. How wild was it opening up for Nirvana back in their fall of '93 tour? A, a good match for you, or was it Mission Impossible for a stand-up with music fans? Well, I, I didn't expect like I was gonna. You know, I'm gonna go out there tonight and I'm gonna blow this crowd away, and they're gonna forget that the, who they came to see. Uh, I, uh, you know, I met Kurt. Uh, he, he was a fan of my stand-up, so I met them on the road when I was in Ann Arbor, and they had recorded Bleach, and he had given me the CD. He, he wanted to meet me, so he interviewed me on a college radio station, believe it or not. That's how we became friends. Um, and I remember listening to the CD and going, wow, this is really good, and rock sucks, because these guys, you're never going to hear from them. You know? and, then, uh, and then a year later, I was touring with them, uh, uh, getting thrown... Uh, having people throw M80s at me and uh, one night they successfully threw a kid out of the pit and hit me with him like I, I actually got hit with a, a person um, I repelled a nude from the roof of the Oakland Coliseum on, on New Year's Eve on that tour which which you know it's funny the interview is going to come full circle we're talking about being bald it's like I was completely naked and I had the in utero uh uh, you know the the, the angel wings yes. that are on the, yes. and, but but I still had a hat on. Like I didn't mind people seeing my my love handles or or my my junk, but I still was like I don't know. I don't want people to know I'm bald. Well, that was fearless. All right, all right. 